Hey there, Steve Rubis with another installment of Capital Markets Investor Relations in two minutes or less. Today we're going to talk about what does the Hindenburg Research Short Attack and Equinix teach public company executives. And it starts with this. A great short attack has a wow factor. It tells you something you didn't already know. And shorting Equinix is of the highest level of complexity. This is a passive investment darling, largest market cap, growing in an industry that's facing a secular bull market. Now the subsequent events in the company response seem to validate the short attack and finally, you have to be careful when defending against certain short sellers. So let's start with the Hindenburg short report. For most investors, the report lacked that wow factor. What was the irrefutable premise that made this a short? A lot of the supporting data had been well known since 2017. And I, like the sell side and many buy side investors, felt the thesis was just noise. And it's because we all overlooked the accounting because we don't have the tools or may not be doing that analysis ourselves or may not have the ability to do so. So let's get to the Equinix response. And it starts with, they're in a position where investors are going to give them a pass because of their market cap positioning in a secular bull market, and that's the stock you own and won't get fired. So the company finally responded on Monday, March 25th with an 8K, which is somewhat peculiar because it made qualifying statements about some of the legal requests it's facing. There was a quote in the press release and the length. Less is more in these situations. Investors already are giving you the benefit of the doubt. The more qualifications, the more information you give, the more likely they are to remove that pass that they've already given you. So what are the key learnings for public company executives? Well, it starts with never bet against Hindenburg Research. They're doing accounting analyses that most investors will never consider. The level of depth they're going to is something that most don't have the ability to do so and probably don't have the resources to do it. Number two, if you're a public company executive, are you prepared for an investor ambush? Most are not. And that leads to number three. Do you have the right investor relations team in place to identify that an ambush could be coming and then defend against that ambush if and when it lands? Thanks for watching. Always here to help with your capital markets, investor relations, and corporate finance needs.